long-term memory, if you recall, uh, capacity for long-term memory is a whole hell of a lot. And duration is a hell of a long time. Okay. <laughs> so not very useful. Not very useful questions. Actually... We are not going to try to talk about these things at all like we did with sensory memory and uh, and short-term memory because it's it's ridiculous. Uh, so if you're ever asked this question, how uh, what is the capacity and what is the duration of long-term memory? This is what you say. These are the things you say. And you do need hell of a. Now, I want to be clear. It's not hella, it's not hella, okay? Hella is the Norse goddess of death, okay? It is an awful word, and it needs to die in a fire, okay? <laughs> uh, hella is terrible. Hella is a great word, okay? Uh, and if you don't believe me if you don't if you don't agree with me keep your opinion to yourself okay yeah scientific scientifically it is a hell of a lot and hell of a long yep scientifically speaking you heard it you heard it from a scientist that's what i am i'm a scientist and this this is science Science. Okay. So we're going to talk about how we're going to talk about other things that make long term memory fun to talk about. Uh, and so, as you can see, we're going to talk about Boost Field. Boost Field. Uh, it's almost Bus Field, but it's got an O in there. So it's Boost Field. And uh, he wanted to see how people do things. So what I'd like you to do is go ahead and you can't put the stream down, but put your uh, computer, or your notebook or, or whatever down. OK, because we're going to talk about organization. So this is all about organization. In long term memory. Okay, and this is Boosfield's clustering studies. I'm going to give you a list of words. Okay, then we're going to have a little bit of a distraction period. I can't see you, so no cheating. No cheating. No cheating. Okay. Everybody ready? No cheating. It's a random list of words. Not like serial position. We don't actually have to do. By the way, I do have the serial position. Um ready to go we'll we'll jump into that uh in a minute it's gonna be our uh it's gonna be our delay task okay so don't worry i got that i got that covered okay here's a list of words just listen i'm not gonna prevent present them to you <laughs> david thank you for that i appreciate that <laughs> uh okay don't try to keep them in 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 short term memory. Just just try to do the best you can. Are you ready? One, two, three. Dog. Baseball. Doctor. Apple. Hat. <laughs> Cow. Don't confuse them, Will. Tennis. Lawyer. Orange. Sorry, clipping there. Goat. Pig. Football. Teacher. Grape. Grape. Pants. Mouse. Basketball. Dentist. Lemon, 
shoes, bird, golf, salesman, banana, shirt. Okay, don't do anything. We're going to talk about the cog lab. Move that in here. Going to open it up. All right, cog lab. Oh, zero position. Um, let's get the group serial position open. So you guys did the serial position. Okay, no writing down the words, no cheating. I'll let you know when you can. Okay. All right, so 15 did the serial position effect, and uh, you had what? 10 words for each trial, right? Position one through 10, which is kind of dumb, but you know, they didn't want it to take it for. I guess they didn't want it to uh, have it take forever. So they decided to only do 10 per trial, which is stupid. Uh, but I didn't make it, I didn't code it. So I'm not going to complain about it. Okay. I did see the subtitles um, and that'll help you. But they, the, the point is that I'm uh, talking. So they, they disappeared. <laughs> okay. All right. So people did pretty well on this. In the beginning, most of you remember the beginning, and then they sort of fell and didn't do so hot at the so the very little recency effect, I would say. Maybe a maybe a smidge of recency. Okay, if we compare that to how many people? Fifty thousand people have done this. Fifty thousand, okay. And you get a a a, a, a slightly bigger U, U shape here. Um, with it sagging it at uh, position six and seven. So a little bit, a little bit uh, of a U there. But here's the thing that they said. The effect is quite robust, but the exact, exact shape of the serial position depends on both the rehearsal strategy and the output order. Who, um, who rehearsed and who just like bleh on the... Uh, let me know in chat... For example, the most common output strategy is to recall the last few items first. So if does that reflect you, you all? Let me know if that did. Um, and so uh, some however, some people recall the first few items first. So if that's if that reflects you, let me know. And the privacy primacy effect is going to be bigger than the recency effect. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let me know um, how you what you felt about this this particular uh, cock lab. Um, Taco lab. Oh, there it goes. Legos. Great. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just super gross right now. Uh, recall the first more first same first. Okay, all right. Okay, I think we had a sufficient delay here. Uh, now in chat, in any order, recall the words from the list. In any order, go. As soon as you have it, go. Okay, this can go away now. Flinging. Uh, before you, on, no, no, not it. Stop, 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 stop. One response per person. <laughs> One response per person. One response of all the words you remember. Thank you. Hey, commentator, welcome in.
dog, doctor, lawyer, apple, sheep, baseball, dentist. That is that is an order. Banana pants, orange grape, teacher dog. Teacher, dentist, football, golf, doctor, bird, tennis, lawyer, lemon, mouse, grape. Okay. Banana, dentist, lemon, cow. Dog, baseball, apple, grape, lemon, football, basketball. Dr. Cow, dog, football, apple, banana, grape, wolf. Was wolf one of them? Uh, that's a false memory there, Slasha. Uh, <laughs> dentist, basketball teacher, orange. Okay. Okay. Basketball, baseball, dog, tennis, ten- tennis, dentist, banana. Lawyer, salesman, dentist, lemon, orange, cow, banana. Uh, football, baseball, basketball, teacher, golf, grape. Wolf popped up in the sub- subtitles. <laughs> That's why you don't follow subtitles, because they're mostly wrong sometimes. See what I did there? Person, man, woman, camera, TV, exactly. I think I said Will. No, no, this was the list. Dog, baseball, doctor, apple, hat, cow, tennis, lawyer, orange, goat. Pig, football, teacher, grape, pants, mouse, basketball, dentist, lemon, shoes, bird, golf, salesman, banana shirt. (laughs) I saw it in the subtitles. That's cheating. It was golf, not wolf. I don't know where wolf came from. Okay, did we notice anything about this list of words any similarities commonalities with this list of words because um the way you recalled them is not all that helpful actually you sort of broke my demonstration guys but you know what that's par for the course in this class (laughs) par for the course (laughs) uh there were there were uh, animals, fruit professions. Yeah, there were definitely animals, fruits, professions, uh, or occupations. Yeah. Uh, when I said the sentence in the middle, it called wolf a word you said. I noticed because I was reading, but I didn't. I didn't say wolf. That's the that's the problem. I did not say wolf. Y'all were cheaters. Y'all are just uh, copping to cheating right now, and uh, um, it makes me really sad. It makes me really sad. No, Dr. Swan, we were just cheating. <laughs> oh, I forgot to turn off this night bot. Uh, you didn't write it down. Okay, well, that's fine, I suppose. All right. So, 1953... Wow. Uh, B- Busfield did this study, okay, where uh, he gave people lists using resources. Get out of here. Uh, <laughs> he gave people lists and he knew, he knew exactly how they were going to uh, be, how they were categorized, right? So we had fruits in there, we had um, uh, occupations. We had um, aminals. Uh, what else did we have? We had sports. And we had um, uh, colors. Okay. Uh, and clothes. Yes. Thank you, Jesse. Okay, um, I think that's all we that's all we got, right? So we had dog, we had uh, baseball, baseball. Dodgers won last night. They're going to the World Series. Hell yeah! Speaking of, we have doctor. Hey, that's what I am. Yeah. Yeah. I hate sometimes like the little image goes away. 
Uh, go. Re wow. Uh, David. Um, it's a really quick way to fail my class. Just gonna say. You've been warned. You have been warned. Hmm. We had Apple. Um, we have Hat. Uh, we have Cow. Cow tennis uh, lawyer. Just in case you were wondering, that is a profession. Orange. What rhymes with orange? We have a goat. <laughs> Don't forget wolf. <laughs> we have a uh, 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 pig. Um, we had football here, foosball. Hey, they're catching coronavirus. Playing. Don't play football. You're going to catch coronavirus. Teacher. Uh, we have grape, which is funny because it's a color too, right? What color is grape flavor? Pants. Is orange a color or fruit? Oh. <gasps> That's a good question. It could be both. Could be both. Pants, uh, mouse, uh, basketball. I'm as sad as you that the Lakers won, by the way. Dentist. Lemon. I don't know why I made that a capital L. Uh, shoes. Bird. Which came first, the fruit or the color? Uh, oh. <laughs> oh my god, I am a dumb. I am a dumb. Yeah, you're, you're right. Lemon. Excuse you. lemon thank you which came fruit the uh, uh the fruit of the color the fruit did that's fact that is a fact the fruit came first orange in in french orange and then because oranges are orange uh that there you go orange Uh, bird. I got bird. Golf. Uh, golf. Uh, salesman. Hey, salesman. Or woman. Uh, banana. So we didn't have colors, by the way. Uh, orange over here. So there was no... Cool. <laughs> yeah, it would just be fruits. Yeah, I didn't do that right. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> okay, so what uh, Boosfield did when he uh, was talking about this in the 1953 study, he called this. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot one. There you go. He called this. Clustering. Hence the, the title of the stream, right? Clustering. There's there wolf for you, Jesse. <laughs> it's called clustering. 
Why would it be called clustering? Well, because people would, generally speaking, recall the words in clusters or, in other words, category groups. Okay. So he said, hey, maybe I can represent clustering cognitively with a measurement. Okay. Sorry, not a measurement, but a uh, cognitively as a, you know, good model. So let me show you how that Actually, this is what the model is. Okay. Much like this. Okay. Where we have the superordinate category for each of these and then every item underneath it. Okay. So he said in his model that superordinate categories. are recalled first then words from the list. So, for example, you'd have to you'd have to think of sports which then leads to golf. Okay. Um, what's the word that I want? Uh, output. So output into the world, right? Either saying or writing it down or whatever. Okay. And because, because sports is activated, then, then you get baseball. And then you get football. And so on and so forth. Okay. So that's how Boosfield said, hey, this is what we're doing with recall. This is how recall works. When we, um, when we look at categories of words put together in a list. Okay. So how to measure this. How to measure the amount of clustering? He developed a, I think it actually a pretty cool uh, measurement. So you know how we talked about the method of savings that Ebbinghaus came up with? Well, Boosfield came up with what is called the ARC score. <laughs> kind of like ARC reactor, right? So arc, the ARC score is adjusted... <laughs> Good times. Whoop. Adjusted ratio of clustering. I don't know why my. There we go. Adjusted ratio of clustering. So that's what the arc score is. So its range. Excuse you. Range is zero to one point zero zero where zero means no clusters, no clustering, and this is perfect 
clustering. And what is perfect clustering? Well, if I were to scroll up here, perfect clustering would be remembering all of the words or at least some subset of the words and in this setup. So it would be all the clothes. It would be all the animals in a row. So that's what clustering is. Uh, and if you did that all together before moving on to the next, the next cluster, then that's where you get uh, a score of one in arc. Okay. So we're not going to delve into how to calculate arc. Uh, because that's not the point of this class. It's actually far harder than it sounds because it's a um, ratio and then it's also adjusted. So we're just going to use a few examples here. Okay. So um, an example, I can, in the notes, there's an example of what a perfect cluster would be. But if you did like dog, monkey, goat, dog, monkey, goat, golf, football, Apple, cherry, orange. Okay. Because each category is distinct there. Okay. You have three animals. Then you have two, um, two sports. And then you have three fruits again. Okay. By, by contrast, a zero here. Oops, I'm scrolling on the wrong thing. Zero would be if you recalled something like dog, football, goat, orange, golf, apple. There is literally no combination in that order of recall uh, that shows any organization. It's just a bunch of random words following. Okay. So most people's ARC scores end up somewhere in between zero and one. It's, it's very, very rare uh, to get either of these. Uh, so I'll just put in parentheses here. Either is very rare. Unless perhaps you have some eidetic memory or something like that. Okay. Most of the time people end up with a score somewhere between like 0.53 and like point. Five, somewhere around there. Okay. Questions about arc. Arc will uh, appear again um, when we move on to some of the uh, some of the next ones. I wonder how HM or KP patients, uh, Korskovsia, uh, would be able to do with this task. That's a great question, Jesse. How, um, well, if you had the amount of delay that we did, then he wouldn't, he would get nothing. Okay. Because, uh, the anterograde is so great that, I mean, I, I, talked your ear off for two or three minutes, uh, all of those words would be gone. And then you'd have to do some sort of suggestion as we, as we talked about, you would have to, you'd have to cue him or Korsakoff patients, uh, to, to that. And by doing so you give, uh, the cue of category. So, Hey, what were some of the, sports set you know you know uh and then he might give it to you like that but then you're asking for a cluster right so it'd be hard to pull an arc score out of that it would be it would be because you'd have to queue and because of your, your queue would be at the category level um it wouldn't be it wouldn't be valid i want to say uh, it wouldn't be a valid test, in my opinion. Now, here's the thing that is truly troubling in 1953 world. Okay, so in 1953, 
1953, we had behaviorists, right? And they were... They were at the top of their game in 1953. Okay. They were like, oh, yeah, we are the best. And then me. But really, though. Now. Here's the rub that Boosfield gave to them so they would say if you give the stimulus random order the response would be in a random order or same order as the stimulus or the stimuli. Okay. And they're all like black box. Uh, let me see. Can I? I'm not doing this very well at all. Yeah, buddy. That's my black box. Please don't make fun of it. I'm trying to do 3D. I don't want that one. They're all like, black box sucks. O'Doyle rules, right? SR relationship rules. <laughs> but Boosfield was like, Boosfield said, but like, they organize it. And then behaviorists, um, so what? You're stupid. Dang it. And Boosfield was sad. No, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> and so Boosfield said. Check and meet. And that was it. That was the beginning of the end. That was the beginning of the end for those behaviorists. It just took another 20 or so years for that final nail to get into that coffin for behaviorism. I'll tell you what. So anyways, the idea is that if if one outputs some organized list in recall, then cognition slash the black box is far more complex than simple SR responses. Take that, behaviorists. Take it. You take it and you stick that in your pipe and smoke it. Okay. 
And if I were to form a simple situation of LTM, semantic memory. Ah, oh, dang it. That is bad. And I should, wow. Semantic memory, everyone. Hooray, huzzah. Questions about, questions about that. I have one final question for you, and you let me know in chat. With everything that we've talked, this is more of a philosophical question. With everything that we've just we've talked about in class, how um, I relate experimental findings with more practical um, reasons and functions, and the philosophical reasons for why. If we are going to, if, if we have this ability to cluster things, and again, um, what a lovely short story. Thanks, Abby. <laughs> if we are going to, if we're going to organize things when there is no organization, why? What is this for? What purpose what adaptive problem might this solve? Think about what kind of things you as a human do on a daily basis. Things like pareidolia, for example, or music. And melodies. What are these things? I don't have any. What are these things? What's the reason for them? Why do why does semantic memory just completely organize things when Nothing about the presentation of the stimuli would reflect that. Your best guess is in chat. Your best guess is in chat. <laughs> Possibly survival. You want to expand on that one, Aaliyah? What do we do? What do we do? I mean, just even looking at just even looking at letters and putting them together is part of this. Pretty fascinating. Try to try to think about this example with a list of words. Try to think about How this might relate to just things in the real world. To hold more information, Sarah? Uh, you want to expand on that? I'm not, I don't know if I follow you on that one. Berries can be poisonous, but also frogs, so they are both green, and we categorize them and equate green with poison. I like that. I like that uh, a lot. I like that a lot. Um, good use of poisonous, by the way, as opposed to venomous. I like that.
any other takers for this. Also, if you have channel points, feel free to redeem them. They're called brain points. Brain points. Free. Have a little fun. Have a laugh. Um, that's my brain, by the way. Is the is the icon. It's, it's a cross-section of my brain. When we cluster things, they are more accessible and we compile more info into these categories. I think so. Yeah. It's easier to group things together and make a mental representation to be to be able to store information in a way that helps us understand recall easier. That one's good too, David. That one's too, that one's real good. Uh and I think that goes with what Sarah's saying. So humans are humans are just distill us down here for as far as we can. Humans are uh fleshy pattern recognizers computers. We are fleshy pattern recognizing computers. I'll say that. There we go. Uh, feel free to use that um, wherever. Uh, just make sure you say um, Swan 2020. Fleshy pattern recognizer, compu pattern recognizing computers. Okay. Even though the brain's not a computer, uh, I, have, I have a lot to I have a lot to say about the recent Cosmos episode. Uh so we go through life recognizing patterns and everything pareidolia is the uh what's the word that i want oh my gosh <laughs> tendency that's the one i wanted is the tendency to recognize faces and things okay especially faces so pareidolia, we do that a lot and we recognize faces in a lot of things because we are expert face pattern recognizers, especially when there are two eyes, some sort of middle feature which might represent a nose and then some uh, horizontal or uh, single piece, right? So that's a pattern. Categories are just like that categories are just like that and so what what our semantic uh memory does is impose a structure to create order order is far easier to work with than chaos right the more order you have the less chaos you have and so it's easier to manipulate, interact with the environment if you are imposing an order. Even if that order is fundamentally non-existent except in your brain, except in your mind. Okay, because making a, making a, uh, uh, some sort of, of, ordered list in your mind to recall later it doesn't really do anything for the universe it doesn't change anything in the universe it just it ju it just is right and but it is your it is your mind creating order in in space okay uh creating order and structure in the real world and that's all i have for today